Okay, what I have here is um, the Razer uh, Forge TV. So I was doing some little comparisons against this and the Fire TV. And one of the things I wanted to do was I actually, um, first of all, I wanted to get Kodi installed. As you can see, it's installed there. If you want to learn how to install it, it's actually, it's kind of difficult actually. Or it's trickier than the Nexus Player was. So what you need to do is you need to go to the, uh, the store, Google Play Store. And you're going to download this application called uh, Team Viewer Quick Support. So what you do is you're going to open this thing up, and before my ID shows up, um, there's going to, it's going to give you a nine-digit number. Go on your computer, uh, download Team Viewer from the TeamViewer.com website, type in that number. It's going to allow you to remote uh, connect into the Android device um, once you've allowed it. And then in the very top on your computer, there's an option that says file transfer. That's where you're going to be able to transfer files over to the um, Razer TV, uh, the Forge TV. After you do that, I downloaded this one, Simple File Explorer, which is um, something that you can download off here. I think I just did a search for uh, File Explorer or something like that. So I need that in order to install the APKs that I'm transferring over using TeamViewer. Once you do that, then all I did was I installed... Uh, uh, the, actually, the APK that I ended up um, transferring over was this uh, Easy File Explorer. Once I transferred Easy File Explorer, all I did was I went under Cloud here. I went under the Add Option down here, and um, I added my OneDrive account. Once I connected the OneDrive account, then anything that I upload, any APKs that I upload right here to the OneDrive account will now appear in the... Um, uh, well, it now allows me to install it on the Forge TV without having to repeat all those processes using TeamViewer. So if you're stump and trying to figure out how to transfer APKs and install uh, Kodi on the Razer TV, because you no longer can uh, just go to the Play Store on the computer and then select Easy File Explorer and then select the Razer Forge TV as an option to install it so it would install it remotely. That no longer works. That used to work with the Nexus Player. It no longer works, though. So... This is the way that I found out how to uh, get some APKs on here. Um, another method is once you actually have, um, I don't have the, actually I'm going to be using a, a different remote with a USB um, Bluetooth dongle or else I would show you, but once you install Easy um, ES File Explorer, once you install that, um, anytime that you attach a, a USB thumb drive or a hard drive to the USB port on the Razer Forge TV, it'll not work. So that's kind of cool. Oh, so another thing. See this right here? This, I don't know if you can tell really good with the lighting, but this is actually the Fire um, Stick TV remote. So if you want a, a cheap one, this is a $15 remote. Um, don't buy the $30 remote that has the voice feature on it because it doesn't work on the, the Nexus player or, and it also doesn't work on this Razer Forge TV. So don't waste your money. Um, one other thing that I was actually able to do, let me grab it real quick is when I bought the Nexus uh, player, I actually bought this Asus remote and it actually works on a... Uh... So, let me just move it a little bit. As you can see, it actually works. So you don't have to buy their $70 remote. I think this one's only like 40 bucks. So save some money there. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, one of the things that I actually hate right now is that when I launch Kodi, if I go into system system and then you go under audio even if i switch this to surround sound it doesn't work um it doesn't let me pass through it to my av receiver which is down there it won't do it like it would on the on the fire tv which is very disappointing even my nexus player actually does it but for whatever reason this razor t uh, forge tv doesn't want to do it so when i play anything that has dolby digital or dts sound it's just a bunch of static, so I have to turn off those features, and then I'm able to play a DTS file, or uh, or Adobe Digital file, or a True HD file, or a, a DTS HD file. Um, it'll play them, but it'll just play it over stereo, so it's kind of it's kind of crappy. So I guess I'm gonna wait for the Nvidia Shield uh, console to. Uh, to install that one in the living room this one will probably just go to the room where i really don't need surround sound because there's no av receiver there um one thing i was also able to do is um i was able to install a couple of applications here as you can see here's hbo go i ripped this one from the um 
uh, I ripped this from the the Amazon Fire TV app store and uh, I don't have an account to test it though so I was able to get this far so until I have an account I won't be able to test that piece um, I'll post the APKs on uh, on XDA so you guys can take a look at them I also was able to rip um, Minecraft and this is an application that I actually did purchase from uh, the Amazon App Store so um, this application I will not be sharing because that would be legal so once I click on it then I'm actually able to use this remote and uh, oops and from what I understand is that the Fire TV actually uses um, their Bluetooth remotes or controllers are a little bit different so if you buy the Nikon Fire TV remote or even the regular Fire TV remote and you link it into the Razer uh, Forge TV, you should be able to play this game just fine. Here, some functions work. Um, some others don't because it's mapped differently than what the Fire TV's map. So um, the APK, the game will work just fine as long as I actually got a Fire TV remote or, uh, or the Nikon uh, Fire TV remote edition. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you wanted to learn how to... Uh, put Cody on there that was the easiest way again download uh, quick support team viewer from the Play Store and then uh, you know launch it it gives you a nine digit number go on your computer download team viewer for Windows and then transfer the files using file transfer once you get it open up a file explorer I use simple file explorer I, I, I think I dumped them to the downloads folder just so it was easier to download but um, so far I'm a little disappointed with it even the FTP I actually downloaded and it might just be the FTP client I'm using, but I'm using this one right here. I transferred some files, and the, the file speed I was getting was about 3.86 uh, megabytes per second, uh, which is very disappointing, especially since this was um, advertised as a gigabit port. And I actually get 4.15, I think. Uh, I would have to take a look, but I believe it's 4.15 on the Fire TV. And um, so it's very disappointing right now. Hopefully it's not an issue with... Uh, with a port or with a chipset that just isn't able, isn't able to keep up with a gigabit. Um, so I'll post on that more on that later once I get more information. Maybe uh, someone from uh, XBMC or Cody is able to create a version that works with uh, the pass-through audio uh, for the Razer TV since that's currently not working with the current build. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.